That is wetter than seal pussy. What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Thesis, aka Thesis himself from Vaping with Thesis Ass, right? God bless it. Now look, today we have got the stacked RTA by my boy Tony B, and it's a collaboration between Keys or K's, I forget how to say it, but it's something like that. Keys and Tony B fucking made a meld together and it's beautiful. This is by far and away one of the more mm, easy to build on, meets flavor meets phenomenal versatility in terms of what you can put on it. Now with that being said, mother truckers, do not forget to hit me up on the Patreon page, patreon.com slash thesis himself. If you do become a patron at the $20 level, you will receive a dope ass t-shirt. Let me grab one of these motherfuckers real quick. Right here, and it will be autographed and so on and so forth. This shit is dope as fuck. With that being said, my ninja kitties, fuck the small talk. Let's go and get up close and personal with the Keys and Tony B Stack RTA. <clears throat> What's going on guys? It is your boy Thesis. Now real quick, I don't get a chance to do this that often. I figured I fucking would on this occasion. So today we've got the Keys Stacked RTA. Now this bad boy was designed by my boy Tony B. Huge shout out to Tony B for A, sending out the RTAs themselves, but more importantly, huge shout out to him for actually giving me a call and helping me with the channel and trying to grow the channel as best that I can with the amount of content that I'm able to put out there. Now with that being said, this is a 24 millimeter diameter tank. It does have a five millimeter bubble glass and it's got this beautiful dual coil build deck. It's got a stacked ceramic build deck as well you guys can see that shit here and not only that but the the ceramic that's been coming out lately especially with the hermetic and whatnot uh by my boy matt is fucking phenomenal i mean that in the literally the best possible way you can use that word phenomenal as in this thing is a phenom the fucking ceramic that we use now comparative to a year ago is a completely different style of ceramic it's actually uh, bringing together several different elements to make a, a almost a new product almost a new material to use i forget what it is it's called ceramic zirconia or some shit like that i forget but either way it's super shiny non-porous um and it's super durable way more durable than original ceramics that were used in the vape industry you know like i said a year two years ago uh dual top mounted flathead screws i do not like flatheads i just don't i tried to like them people in the comment section viewers were saying yo flatheads are way better because it's easier it's, it's, it's less likely to torque them down and that's true, but it's also way more difficult to hold the fucking screwdriver still. I cannot stand flatheads. I much prefer a hex driver or an Allen head or a Phillips head than anything else. Now, of course, it is peak insulated, 810 drip tip. It's got a clear one. I'm actually more, uh, I'm a fan of, a, I'd rather have a color, like some type of different color. 304 stainless steel and glass construction. I don't know why companies still say, oh, we don't use glue. What the fuck company uses glue on tanks? Like since what, 2009-ish, 10-ish? Now that I'm looking this over, I think that the price goes for on Vapor DNA for like $34.99. And I think I saw it on Element Vape for like $32 or $31.99. So you can save yourself a couple of bucks. Full disclosure here, 48 hours and I broke it. I broke the bubble glass, I broke the straight glass, and I did it on the last uh, video where you saw me pretending I was a tricker, a vape tricker. So I broke that shit. I cannot use it. Um, I can use it as a dripper, but that's about it, which I have done in the past. I don't recommend it. Um, make a long story short, this is enough. This is a phenomenal RTA. I like this RTA a lot. Bitch, it's okay, smother truck, because that's enough of me yapping. Let's go ahead and enjoy the rest of this build section. One of the go. Mm. Welcome back to Regular Review, son. Now my final summation is this, the stacked RTA by Tony B and Keys, case, however you want to say it, has been a phenomenal performer. Five milliliter bubble glass, which is exactly where we need to be. Of course, it's got the three mil straight glasses. I don't ever use those. I don't see the point in them, especially at 0 0.3, 0 0.25 ohms. You're going to need more power. You're going to need more juice capacity. Five milliliters is perfect right where it needs to be. Mm. Whew. Those 13 millimeter air slots are perfect in terms of the way they sound. None of the whistle, none of the bullshit. The only thing I don't like about the airflow though, is the fact that you actually have to take it up and off your mod in order to adjust it. Now you could totally see that shit as a positive. For me, it's a negative. I want to be able to adjust it on the fly. However, the only reason why I would need to adjust it is because it's moved. So I guess, I don't know, I guess that's a positive. It almost locks the airflow into place. My personal baby preference, as most of you know, is going to be wide open. So for me, this is perfect. That's exactly the way I like it. The chimney on it is exactly where it needs to be in terms of diameter, especially to get that flavor. You don't want to make the cotton hit the bottom of the deck. If you do that, you are gonna end up with a little bit more chance of leakage um, or and or dry hits. You're gonna get some liquid at the bottom too. 
That's always been my, my issue with floating decks. I do prefer floating decks, but the wicking situation is gonna take a little bit more to get used to. Oh my goodness. The density on the vapor is pillowy, not to mention the flavor is on point. Exactly the way your flavor should taste in your liquid is exactly how it's gonna taste in this tank. A10 is, uh, does not have O-rings. The O-rings are actually inset in the A10 slot right there, which is perfect. It feels super snug. It's difficult to get in and out. I like it. In terms of how difficult or how easy this thing is to build on, you could be a first time RTA user and this is something I would highly recommend. This is not something where it takes a lot of skill to build on. Once you realize that the top lead goes on the top, the bottom lead goes on the bottom, make sure they're pre-cut around five and a half, five, six millimeters, you're gonna be perfect, you're gonna be golden. And there's a very large margin of error, meaning you can fuck up with the coil in terms of position with that airflow on the bottom and not be in any trouble. It fucking tastes perfect regardless of where that coil is. I don't know how we did that shit, that's just magic to me. Look at those clouds from this tiny ass Addy. Woo. By the way, I am rocking the Coil Art Mage V2 stacked edition. I do not have it stacked at the moment. I'm rocking a 2700 battery by Home Tech right here. This is the Sherlock. Swing a bench. Love that shit. Now, my thesis is patented finger of comparability scale. If the Voluna 2 is going to be a 9.1, I'm going to say that the stacked RT is a 9.2. Biggest reason being is because of the mill capacity. But the ease of use is so simple and the flavor is so dense that this thing could be. Mm, do I dare say this thing takes over the Voluna 2? I mean, it just does. I think it, in terms of practicality, it just it takes it over. So, right now, this is sitting at my number one RTA. Bitch, it's okay, smother truckers. Now, with that being said, I want to tell y'all that I appreciate y'all for vaping with Thesis. It is your boy, Thesis. I'm out. Mm.